Today is the 9th of December, Sunday, and we've just finished the marathon last session of COP18 in Doha. It finished 24 hours uh, later than it was supposed to, and after two marathon all-night sessions, we now have what is termed the Doha Climate Gateway, in the sense that it's a gateway to the 2015 agreement that everybody is now going to work towards. The three major crunch issues that held up the negotiations until the very end were firstly to do with the Kyoto Protocol and the second commitment period, which we now have from the European Union and a few other countries, uh, despite the fact that Russia and the Ukraine tried to hold it up and in fact tried to hold up the whole Doha package and until the president gaveled it through. That was a crunch issue. The second major crunch issue was finance, of which we have not got much. Just a few countries have offered some finance between 2013 and 2020. Others, including the US, have just said they're going to do their best, but they haven't offered any numbers. This is probably the biggest failure of the Doha COP, is the fact that there is very little finance on the table between 2013 and 2020. And the third crunch issue, which was almost a make or break, was a new issue called loss and damage, which the island countries in particular, supported by the other vulnerable countries, the least developed countries, had held up in the negotiations because they wanted an international mechanism. And finally, they got an agreement to look at the possibility of an international mechanism by COP19 next year, which will be in Warsaw, Poland, a year from now. This was against very fierce resistance from the Annex 1 countries, particularly the US, who didn't want to open this up because in their view it opened up the potential for uh, unlimited compensation and they knew that, uh, but in the end they did compromise and allow it to get through. A number of other things were less controversial and we had agreement on them, including RED, including the National Adaptation Plans, uh, the Technology Committee and the Technology Center, which has been awarded to the UN Environment Program. And in fact, another contentious issue which got through quite easily, which was the issue of equity, which is now built in, and we will have workshops and discussions on equity, something that India had been pressing for for a long time against the wishes of the US, but there is a compromise text on taking that forward. So Doha all in all is quite a disappointment, but it is at least keeping the show on the road, and all eyes now and all work now is going to go towards getting a deal in 2015, in COP21, we have three more years to go, a lot of negotiations to go, a lot of awareness raising to go, and a lot of political action and advocacy to go if we really want to get an ambitious deal. Doha was nowhere near the level of ambition, either on the mitigation or on the, or on the finance front. But hopefully we have a few years to get that in 2015.